have the balls to start. You're literally fucking up your future because you're scared of what people think. But let me tell you this, your idea is currently worth millions of dollars and you're not implementing it because of fear. So let's conquer fear and let's talk about how you can implement this idea. And it might be starting a business, it might be going on some crazy weird sport. Whatever it is, you need to start taking action. You know, four years ago, I was still in middle school. Skinny guy, insecure, I was way younger than the rest of my class, so, so I wasn't even really developed. And I wanted to start a YouTube channel. I didn't have the balls to do it at first, but... And so at one point, I started it. I started this gaming channel, I recorded Fortnite videos and, and Minecraft videos. Slaap bijna van de map af! Nee! Nee! And of course, after about four videos, someone in my class discovered, they, they booted the shit out of me, I got insecure, and I just stopped making videos. And that was that. Then one year ago, I realized that this was actually my passion and it was something I really wanted to do. It was basically my purpose in life at that point. And so I tried again. Hold on, young man. I I was still I was still in middle school. Whenever I went to another city, I recorded the whole entire trip. Wait, I want and I really enjoyed doing it. I was actually getting a lot of fun. I was getting into this flow state. I was being focused. And then once again, another guy from my class found out and I got bullied and I stopped. Fast forward two years later, I was in film school about a year ago. I currently drop out um, and I started a YouTube channel again. I honestly think that Skeleton would have lived a better life if he just did what he wanted to. And you know, once again, while I was saying this, I was doubting if people were finding it cringe or weird that I was saying this, but I'm just gonna post it. And once again, someone find out. They said nothing. They supported me. You wanna know why? Because once they said it to someone else in the class and I realized they were talking about me and my YouTube channel, I just own it with confidence. I talked about it, yeah, it's something I like. I really enjoy doing it. Have you seen my latest video? And they were actually kind of shocked. They were surprised that I wasn't feeling embarrassed. And so they just respected it. And they actually started following it. They actually started liking my videos. So what's the moral of the story here? You just have to do whatever you think about doing it right now. You're literally creating your own version of the story right now. Once again, whether it's about starting a YouTube channel, just starting a business, whatever it is, but you're afraid of what people will think. And that makes sense. However, if you just say with confidence, yes, you're right. I created a YouTube channel about fucking gardening or something. Shout out to Achilles. This guy, Achilles or Gilles, he has this YouTube channel about stoicism and gardening. The most weird random fucking combination I've, I've ever heard about. But I'm actually much more interested in his videos than those that just make classic gaming videos or self-improvement videos. And it's because he just owns them with confidence. He doesn't hide it. He just goes around telling his viewers that he's growing peppers in his own fucking bathroom. Like how fucking weird is that? But still, he comes across more confident than the guys that make the classic self-improvement videos that no one actually makes fun about. Everyone I know really respects the guy. And so if you're into gardening and philosophy, then check him out. Do you start to get the point here? The point is not that you have a weird idea. Everybody has those weird ideas in their head. That guy from your class that you're afraid of that he will judge you, he has a weird idea in his head too. And the reason that he makes fun of you is because he doesn't have the balls to actually make this, well, this dream of him a reality. And you do. Another friend of mine. The friend who's actually sitting next to me in the office that I'm currently in all the time. He's also started a YouTube channel and it's about something he's very passionate about, which is, which is basically what is the ideal diet? What is the ideal lifestyle? He eats the most weird stuff. He eats dates with butter inside of it and liver and all that kind of stuff. I eat that stuff too, by the way, but a lot of people think it's weird, which I totally understand. However, you notice that a lot of people pay respect to his videos because he owns it. He just tells it with confidence. Yeah, I eat liver. Liver's good for you. And I'm passionate about shit like eating liver. Like how weird is that once again? He's passionate about what liver does to your body once you eat liver. The most weird people are the most confident people. But he just makes a video about it, sends it to everyone he knows, and people respect him. So stop hiding away your fucking dreams. For the longest time, whenever someone told me what I wanted to do with my life, I told them that I wanted to be a filmmaker. And most people still think that way. And a part of me does, by the way. I have my own film brand. Given the gift of life. So make this gift worthwhile. Shock everybody. Go out there. Throw yourself into the danger and the wonders of the unknown. And I make work for clients, but I don't want to make work for other people my whole life. What I really want is just talk about what I'm passionate about to a camera. And until about half a year ago, I've been hiding this to everyone I know. Whenever they ask me, like, what do you really want to be later? I just told them I want to be a filmmaker. And once again, I kind of like it, but deep down I know that I want to be a content creator. So what's your thing that you're hiding to other people? Stop hiding it, bro. 
Just do it. You actually might inspire people that you're talking to because maybe they have something that they're hiding. Maybe they think, hey, this guy's being quite honest about what he really wants. Just imagine talking to someone and once you ask him what he wants to do later, he just says, yeah, I want to start a YouTube channel and become a content creator and make 10K a month doing that. You think, hey, in respect. You, you wouldn't be laughing at him. So I think you get the point now. This is a short video, but I hope I can inspire you to take action on the right things. So before you leave, if you're interested in more stuff like this, I'm actually going to make a community in the future. I only want you to join if you're interested in gaining freedom, if you're interested in stuff like following your purpose, masculinity, entrepreneurship, fitness, health, and if you're not a degenerate. My goal is to chase a life of purpose in nature with, with a community of friends around me. Welcome, brother, and I hope you got the value from this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.